Sorry, camera got touched. So basically, I had to deal a lot with uh, lies. Um, it basically was bashing me and telling me what I wasn't or what I didn't already have, such as saying that I didn't have enough faith. So basically, I started worrying if I had enough faith to get the Lord to answer certain things. And that's basically where religion also comes in, was on the aspect that you have to do things to impress the Lord or gain favor with Him in various aspects by actually bringing Him gifts, doing things for Him, and all this different sense, and then washing your hands basically before you do this or do that. Anyways, if you keep following fear and religion, you could actually end up stuck in an area to where even walking's wrong if you keep listening to certain spirits because they'll sit there and try telling you how you're doing everything wrong. And a religion spirit along with a doubt and unbelief spirit, if they keep getting and hounding you, and this has actually happened to me, to basically, I had to trust the Lord to even walk because I was so wrapped up in thinking that I'm doing stuff wrong that I couldn't even walk. I, I was like, me just trying to walk, I felt like I was doing something wrong and it was killing me. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you, you'd be surprised of how bad things can get if you keep listening to stuff like that. Generally, what you should do is usually when the enemy tries telling you certain things is actually knowing what the truth is. And, uh, well, the truth will set you free. Uh, a lot of times, if he tries telling you you're this, then you're actually the other. Um, such as if you don't have enough faith or belief, that's basically trying to get in worry, trying to get you to worry about it, which makes an idol of worry and fear, and eventually, well, anyways, point is, it's not a good idea. Just isn't. Anyway, so, um, I, I know in my older videos, I didn't even post, I tried to get them posted, but they didn't get posted, and I still have to get those back out of a friend's computer, and a lot of them were stolen, and I still have not actually gone and actually made videos of what actually happened uh, a lot of the stuff that actually happened um, but I I do need to and some of the stuff is not just embarrassing but it's really really what most people would be pretty pretty shameful about and I'm sure a lot of Christians definitely would not want to admit to some of the screw-ups that I've done uh, but, you know, on the other sense, it does also help people know of uh, the type of grace the Lord has for them. And it should actually help people realize that, you know, the Lord says you're forgiven. He means you're forgiven. And, you know, it's... Yeah, so... Anyways, and... Yeah. So... I'm going to end this video because i got time-wise videos because that's just YouTube. Ten minutes seems to be my limit. I've tried to extend it and it doesn't extend my videos. So that's pretty much that. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.